Hey, see the date and time there, boys and girls? Wait. Come on, phone. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. I can't. Alright. Here is, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but, yeah, here, well, here, let me just show you this. Let's see here. Let me zoom in. There's that. Pretty, here. There, that's the whole thing. Okay, so, got it between stations. Toyota.com. You know who deserves a summer break? Average. <laughs> Unplug, bask in the sun, and have as much fun with food as possible. Everyone should be able to add any one of your favorite items to small fries for just $2.50 when they see fit. And because of that sound logic, the summer break menu was born at McDonald's. The new summer break menu at McDonald's. Choose from a double cheeseburger, southern style chicken sandwich, six piece chicken McNuggets, or a snack wrap plus small fries for just $2.50. You're busy, really busy, and you're buried under so much work that only a rescue dog could find you. Plus, it's hot, really hot, and you're rushing to meet that client who always hugs you, which makes you more uncomfortable than you already are because your AC is broken and the sun is beating down like 50 toddlers banging drums on a sold-out flight to a city you don't want to visit. So you stop at McDonald's for a frosty, blended McCafe drink so you can just... So as you can see, there's no more uh, scratchy sounds in the volume. All right? Now, if you... Now, like I said, deck doesn't work, but I'm going to show you that here in a moment. If you got to play your tunes, you need to get one of these little things here. Now, I'm going to put this in here and hit play. Turn on the tape so it'll go to tape. This takes a moment to... There it goes there. Now I'm waiting for it to zoom out so you can see the computer screen because i got to wait for it to pop up in this thing here. As soon as it pops up in there, then i got to author... There it goes. Now I gotta wait for it to come. While I'm waiting for that to come up in there, I want to. There it went. All right. Well, there's the Bluetooth audio. Okay. So now, no, it went backwards. Darn. Go back. Okay. And hit space. Right. No. Damn it. All right. I guess what I need to do here. I need to move the camera. That's what I need to do is move the camera. Yeah. And then zoom in on that. Here, wait, let's just get right into it. Make it a long video, boring video, whatever. All right, so here, maybe if I move this, that's a little bit more straight on. Okay. Anyway, this CSC8 uh, box needs an idler. Here I'm trying to measure it and show you the size of it. Okay, and here I took the belt out. I had the belt in. That's the approximate size of that belt. Okay, and that's what the belt looks like when it was in there. And just more. Here I uh, put the oxid into the uh, re record thing. That's where it's at underneath there. Right, so. That's how that comes apart. The two screws that hold it on. Just a view, a view, another view. Three screws holds the tape deck unit in the in the inside the box. There's just a there's a speaker view. Tweeter view, woofer view, okay, the whole thing. Alright, there's that view, and these and that, and that view, that view, there. Here, I opened it up, take pictures as I go along, that's where all the screws go, the, they go in this, that way. Four, long ones on the top, and the short ones on the bottom, there we go. <coughs> Let's see here. Wrong button. There we go. Top of it. Flash. That view. That view. There's the antenna inputs. And here's probably okay. Battery. Serial. That thing. The back. And that's when I began. Great. So. Let me X out of here, alright?
Okay, now, now that I've got the, I gotta go here and I gotta authorize this. I gotta make this set as the vault, the vault device. Great. I come back over here and hit my jams. And now that I showed you all that, I can move the camera right there. Okay. Oh, right here. Let me zoom out. How far are we? Five minutes. Okay. That'll work. All right, so. Anyway, as you can see, or here, it works, the cassette deck works, but the cassette deck won't play a cassette because it needs a belt and an idler tire, okay? And the belt I showed you, hopefully in the pictures you've seen there, that's all I know, hope you enjoyed, let's see, and the, of course the radio works, I didn't hook up a, uh, here I could do this while I'm thinking about it, Grab the uh, CD player and the here's the CD player and the, the hookups. Okay, get that and put it into auxiliary. All right, so plugging this into auxiliary, which means I sit here. Actually, that won't work right. Well, yeah, I have to do it that way. Anyway. I don't know. Anyway, it works. That's all I know. I have to take this out. Stop that. Let's see. Stop that. So now, that's what. Okay, reject. Take that out. Put this in record mode. And then go back to here. The next channel. Come on. <clears throat> anyway, you get the idea. Now, if I were to um, stop this, if I were to change this, here, let me put the antennas down and I'll just show you where I have it playing while it's playing. Okay. I have it, let me zoom in plugged into that. I could plug it into the phono, but if I plug it into the phono, I have to run it through the headphone out and use a much lower volume than the line out that I'm currently using with the CD player, if you can see that. Alright, I'm not using anyone. Anyway. It'll work, but you gotta be careful with your volume. Okay? And that's all I know. Hope you and the record thing's lit up. Well, you can't see that, can you? Yeah, the record's lit up. Power. Turn that off. Okay. Back to the radio. Wait, that's... To my blue jean jacket, I wrote Roni. Don't laugh. I also used to do this dance right here in this song. You can't tell me it wasn't fire. Here's Drew Hill, Magic 102. Provide just about it. I'll tell you. 